New information now on this breaking story that we brought you this morning, a fire alarm at Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. Our reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson has just arrived on scene. Jennifer, what are you seeing? What are you hearing? What have you learned? Well, we've learned that things have calmed down quite a bit now. Uh, we're not really seeing the flashing lights we saw here earlier, and uh, the Metropolitan Airport Commission says the operations are back to normal. But uh, as you can, but earlier there was quite a lot of action, a lot of flashing lights. There was smoke, a fire alarm that went off in the G concourse, which is just behind me here. You can see a, a couple of flashing lights off in the distance. But at this time, uh, around. 5.09 in the morning, those sprinklers came on, and officials believe the fire started in a break room. The fire is out now, and G1 through G6, although it was evacuated, is now reopened. There was one plane that was moved to a different gate, but officials are telling me they don't expect this to impact any more on the operations. Now, I did speak with uh, a member of the Metropolitan Airport Commission, and she tells me that she's still waiting for a full damage report, so we don't know yet if there's been flooding or, you know, what kind of damage this fire or the water damage might have caused. But she does say that from her understanding, G1 through G6 reopened uh, a little bit ago and people are able to go in and out and planes are going to be able to take off from the G concourse. Reporting live at the airport, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 5 Eyewitness News. All right, Jennifer, thank you for that. Let's now get a